Gachafa Nieri AB. It's so funny, us in, the, us in this side of the world find it hard to actually <laughs> all these names. pronounce all these names. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we should like get Google to tell us these names? Probably. Like the proper pronunciation. Oh, <laughs> when we're speaking and then it's just like. So hang on, so you didn't you know. We're, you know. You know we've just released a brand new coffee, um, obviously it shifted up the um, the Barty Green to a Brazilian. I have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> but yeah, it is a weird, yeah, we need to learn that. Barty, the new Barty Green, summery, well, well Coca-Cola, cola, um, you know, really nice, a brightness, it's a, that's a Nathaniel word. Um, nice, bright, summery. Citrusy cola shot of espresso. Pink for a bun. So we're going pink today purely because we are cupping. Because we are cupping all these funky, what do you call them? What? But coffees? Yeah, <laughs> well, no, but you call them like something funky. What are they? Because they're. Oh, the processes. There's extended fermentation ones in this lot. There's some natural fermentation. Yeah, so right. every co all coffee is somewhat fermented, but these ones are fermented a lot more. Um, so I'm going. So yeah, yeah. <coughs> what? Bomb. The reason why I'm just giving you a behind the scenes um, of uh, some of the fermented um, coffees that we've picked to be able to shift up our current pink from um, Ethiopia Herrera. Um, we've basically run out and we're basically running up and because we're, this is our, one of our signature profiles, we want to give you a more of a funkier, um, funkier coffee to pair with the green. So there's a green body and now pink, they're our specialty pro, um, there's a green body and a pink body. The, these are both our signature profiles and we're wanting to shift up um, the Ethiopian Herrera, which is like a plummy, whiny, beautiful, very deep, <coughs> Excuse um, me. a very deep um, coffee. And yeah, keen to, and again, this is just part of, you know, being part of the lab um, where we, yeah, all we do most of the time is, yeah, is taste, Amazing coffee. Amazing coffee. What a terrible from... job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it actually is. There's a lot of pressure behind it, mate, because you know, like, it's not as easy as people think it is. Drinking coffee all day, a you can't. Let's just be real about that. Yeah. Um, and then two, there's just something about um, this. There's so much variety in the specialty game that at the moment um, we're literally cupping, you know, one to twice twice a week. Um, to be able to bring to you direct from farm. Um, and yeah, um, it's really cool, but also it's quite, um, yeah, a lot of pressure to be able to compete and bring these to market, but that's your job too. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it is, it is pressure. It's also, I think it's sort of, it's fun pressure though for me, because yeah, well, what, that's your what job. we're trying to do is arrange a really nice catalog for, everyone who enjoys body so they have a variety of options yeah. and to make each um label going through all of our colors to be distinct from each other yeah um so guess, there's a coffee for everyone out there yeah absolutely and especially um you know the green and pink profiles are our signatures because they'll always stay and then we'll rotate them with you know seasonality and availability of those um those coffees so 
Um, we're getting to the end of the Herrera Ethiopian, which is currently um, the, the pink party, and we want to keep it in the same region. Uh, when I say region, in the same sort of sphere um, of tasteability, that it's always going to be a funky profile, the pink body, um, and it's going to be, you know, a weird process just to make sure that the what you taste the second time you touch body is something completely off the hook, like weird and funky. Yeah. So that was always the strategy. All um, right. Cool. So Go I'm for gonna, it. Go nuts. So I'm going to start pouring the water, time this. Um, let's go. <sighs> Amazing. There are, so there are multiple regions here, just like full disclosure, but they're all going to taste relatively similar. Um, the ones that will taste the most like the existing pink, I think we already know. Have, we already know, <laughs> like just by smell, yeah. which is pretty cool so, that a coffee can do that. Yeah, so... Um... What really, what really gets me and what's really cool about what we're doing as well is that you're literally tasting that, re you're like, you're teleporting yourself to that place in the world um, through where, how that coffee's grown, the terroir and all that stuff. I find that so exciting and so awesome. Um, and so to be able to share a specialty that's been grown specifically, you know, in small lots and all that sort of stuff, it's really like a really really cool thing, especially yeah. in like COVID, right? Lockdown, whatever. You could, <laughs> you can essentially be teleported to Ethiopia, yeah, to Colombia. Yeah. Um, Speaking of, are you fully vaxxed? Because I'm fully vaxxed. I'm vaxxed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's get vaxxed, everybody. I'm, I'm vaxxed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, actually, that second second vax this week it took me sideways. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Might need some more water, actually. Yeah. If you don't mind chucking no, some on, no. I just realized this is quite a lot of coffees. We, we're going to be jacked again, are we? Fuck! <laughs> it's Friday. Can stay up tonight. One thing, um, one thing we do do on Fridays, we make sure we have a family, family lunch. Um, <laughs> do a tasting of something different, like a wine or a champagne. Um, <laughs> and... Make sure that we treat ourselves after having a fucking massive week on Planet big, Marty. A big week in the warehouse with all the yeah. these orders coming through. And we're doing some good as well, you know? Like, I really feel like we're changing people's lives. Um, yeah. the, the challenge that I threw out yesterday, um, get a free subscription um, for four weeks and we'll send you free coffee. But you have to commit to either running, cycling... Um, walking or nominating a friend. Um, so um, that, that's gone out and received really well. And a whole bunch of people are going, this is so cool. You're making me actually get off my ass and get out there. That, yeah, that was cool. That, seeing those sorts of uh, emails or comments, people getting out there because of body. Yeah. Didn't realize coffee could do that. I mean... Sure, it caffeinates you, but like this whole challenge, that's such a good idea yeah. on your own. And, and in like full full disclosure and transparency, um, right. we're just going to have to deal with one. <laughs> yep. We ran out of water, like we're not perfect. Full, full disclosure, it's really all about, um, what I want people to understand is that, you know, come and chat with us and we'll give you something. So there's a treat, you know, if you're, if we're, if you're thinking about, you know, coming and speaking to us because you've, you're in funk, and you want to get some free coffee, come and get, come and have a chat with us. Um, we're more than willing. Um, we've got, you know, um, mental health professionals to be able to deal with all sorts of situations. Um, so yeah, um, you know, if you are keen to have a chat and um, yeah, go on, Just keen to have a chat, then yeah, give us a jump on to chat and we'll, um, we'll, uh, we can talk about coffee if you like. So yeah. Um, and get a treat. Well, just like, even though their country is right next to it, or close to each other, gosh, these are so... This is really cool. You want to get in on this? All right, hang on. I know you've got hay fever, but... Oh, wow. Okay. Is that either Costa Rica? Yeah. 
Like just how oh, different oh, those are. Oh, that's sweet. That's not. That's really pungent. Sorry. Funky Friday. Funky Friday. Wow. That's Costa Rica, and this is oh, this is Kenya. Mm. Kenya. Is that gonna be good? Wow. Okay. I I like I like this one. Hmm. Hmm. As it cools down, it's getting more of a flavour. Hmm. Interesting. I really yeah. Wanna we'll redo those. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Jeez. And obviously we've got to give the shout out to Cafe Imports who um have sent us these um, samples. Um, and one of the other things, I mean, working with um, suppliers and wholesalers, uh, one thing that's really important for us, I suppose that we need to call out is that the, you're right. Yeah. The, the wholesalers need to have top of mind sustainability and working with farms for the, for the right good and being able to create those long-term relationships. We're not interested in just buying coffee and selling it. It's really all about the farm. So if, you know, we're working with a couple of really cool wholesalers, I know one's in Melbourne, um, and yeah, they're giving us some, they're looking after us because their mantra and is all about looking after the farm. So mm -hmm. they're very, very pleased. Oh, oh, oh. But this was, hang on, this one, this one, the one I thought was going to be perfect, but yeah. when I smelt it, it's a, it's like strawberries. It's This insane. is the fun. Like, this, I this. can smell fruits, tarts, tartiness through, like, smell. It's just so pungent. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it's aptly named the bomb. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah, we're going to have to redo this. This little section. Um, that's okay. We'll set up a second timer and. That's alright. Um, yeah, this one. This one's my favorite. Little. So hang on. With is. So my thoughts about the pink is the plumminess, the the really um, the pungent, like a Grenache wine. Yeah. Um, this is now getting too fruity for me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if any. Um, more uh, umami sort of say or savory. It is notes. extraordinary though. It is like take over the fruitiness as we taste it. Um, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. 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 How long do we get to, before we can? Uh, let's wait two more minutes. Just let it cool. Okay. Um. Because it'll be like it'll be super hot. Um. Right now. Okay. Just gonna. It's my um, <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> I will set up a second timer and do these. Um, Why do people call us single O? <laughs> I think they're just shorthanding. Yeah. We're single origin. Yeah. It's, we're not. We're not. The cause party or party single origin. There's, yeah. not, there's nothing else. A lot of people shorthand like. Well, uh, like we're cafe, shorthand cafe, cafe, cafe lingo. <laughs> no, it's like, what's bullshit. the single O today? <laughs> bull, bull. And so, out of all of these wait, that you're smelling, which one do you think will go into a can best? I mean... Or do we do two profiles? Just by smelling, this is obviously the most fun. It's... You it's, like your fruity. You like your coffee's fruity. Yeah, no, I like fun. I like I like the most insane experience you can get. But I just want a good coffee. Oh, if you're looking for that, uh, these are all super fruity. That's what we're going for today to match right. the pink. Right. So, because currently, these, hang on. So the currently the pink from Ethiopia is funky, and it's a natural, and it's a micro lot, and. Uh, when you increase the TDS, like you're literally, it's a dark complex. Like you, if you, if it's brewed wrong, you'll mm. get a headache because it's really, you get it really stringent. And, yeah. and purely this would, the, the body pink is what was purely profiled for the V60. So like the yeah. body green, really um, versatile espresso V60, but mostly on espresso or AeroPress or a Delta where the pink was an introduction of, right, this is now 
a V60 drink. Mm -hmm. Like you have to, you have to do the pour over to get some really good, you know, flavors out of it. Um, yeah, yeah. So that was that was the idea. So I'm aiming. So the pink will always be a V60 profile. Um, it's been ten minutes, so I'm gonna you go also first. grab. This is my other one. Thanks. Put the skimming in there. Getting ahead of myself. Oh, too mate. excited. <sighs> when this order came in, I was so excited. <laughs> Guess I can stop that. Because in terms of um the big coffee uh, suppliers uh, and warehouses, there there's MCM um, Melbourne. <laughs> Coffee Merchants, yep. and then there's these guys, Cafe Imports, and then there's Coffee Com, and then a whole bunch of small guys around the side. Um, I know that we've had a relationship with Green Bean Coffee What's Australia, which are pretty good. Um, and yeah, they're a bunch of really cool guys. So, and I know I'm really impressed with the guys at, um, at um, Melbourne Coffee Merchants. Um, yeah. They, um, yeah, they've definitely looked after us and they've got some really cool coffee. But one thing I will shout out and we're starting to, you know, play around with some competing coffees. Everyone's got the same coffees out there. Everyone's buying the same coffees mm -hmm. in these cafes, which is quite interesting that Australia has a certain palette and they're missing out on all these other cool, cool ones that they will never buy. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, I think that it totally depends on like where you are. A specialty coffee, like appreciated just as like a black filter coffee, it's quite a new thing. It's, yeah. it's finally becoming like a thing, a more mainstream thing. But it was just pioneered by like you know early adopters mm -hmm. and just getting really cool flavors out of. And coffee. I guess what we're doing here is that fourth wave of coffee you know which is really interesting which it is, means that you, you can get different flavors in coffees that's the way the terroir locks in those are oh. just all the buzzwords right there oh. and they did it just jammed them all in <laughs> <laughs> just caffeinate me will you all right let's buzzword bingo let's cut okay let's try not to use big fat fucking words <laughs> so that we're not coffee snobs <laughs> you fucker <laughs> aren't you doing the covid thing mm. you should be but you know i totally forgot i've done that so okay. where's your head to oh wow that's really nice Actually, it's similar. Nice. It's similar to um, it's similar to the honey honey one that uh, we tasted from Mecca. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Well, throw it back. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite bitter as well, so it might be the roast. It's a bit roasty there. <laughs> yeah, that I just took that one. Oh, that's really nice. Um, floral, nice and floral. Um,